Hey guys, so I'm back with the reaction video. It's been forever, I know. But, um... In the past, I used to watch the Tonys every year. Because I used to dream of being on Broadway. Like, my dream roles were like Roger in Rent, or the Phantom in Phantom of the Opera... Just to name a couple. Now, before I get into this, there is no copyright infringement intended. All the music and all the just what all of this content that is being played in the background is not mine. It belongs to the composers and writers of this show. And I do want to make sure I say that so this video doesn't get blocked. And I will put it in the description also. So YouTube, you cannot come for me. This is for entertainment purposes only. Anyways, so I didn't get to see the Tonys this year. But what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to do a reaction video. I'm going to do a couple, like a series from this year's Tonys. Just like I do with the Grammys. Except the Grammys, I never miss. Grammys every year I watch. Anyways, so this is... Uh, my reaction for Mean Girls on Broadway. Now, I watched a bootleg that doesn't exist of Mean Girls on Broadway. And I do have to say that the show is amazing. And since there were certain things that were either left out of the show or um, were different in the show than in the movie, makes me believe that uh, they just uh, used the book as the reference instead of the movie. Which usually that's what they do, and I know that. So here's my reaction. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Mean Girls on Broadway at the Tonys. Where do you belong? Where do you belong? Where do you belong? Where do you belong? This kid is amazing. So find a quick and stick with it. Say, where do you belong? Let's take a walk around the cafeteria, shall we? His Damien is amazing. I see it. <laughs> Varsity jocks and JV jocks will throw you in a locker if you say hello. Hello. Hate the gangsta whites, though they're all smoking the same oregano. Here's the sexually active man geeks. I got two words for you. I'm for sure and ew. And if you like marching with tromboners, this is the group for you. Back me up, show choir. I was in show choir. That's loud. You'll be judged on sight, voting in or out. Cause that's what I shoot all about there. Who work for her Queen Bee. I like her Regina. But no one will ever beat Rachel McAdams. I'm sorry. Well, to be honest, no one will ever beat the cast of the movie. Sorry. Yeah. How do you feel? That's Gretchen Wieners. Her hair's so big 
The girl that plays Gretchen. Oh my god, I love her. Her comedic timing is perfection. That's Karen Smith, the dumbest person you will ever meet. I once saw her put a D in the word orange. My name is Karen. My hair is shiny. My teeth are perfect. My skirt is tiny. It barely covers my perky hiney. My name is Karen. I may not be smart. That's it. Thanks, Karen. Yes. I wish they would have gave more time for that line. This kind of seems a little rushed. That was good. So, um, yeah, I like the musical as a whole, the bootleg that I didn't see was out of this world. The vocals, the choreo, just the acting, everything about that show that I could like gather in my head and process was just so good and well put together. Now, most of the time, I don't like it when they go with the book instead of the movie. And I know that makes me, like, people find that ignorant. Ignorant in the way of, like, not knowing. Because they're going to always take from the book. Just like the movie It or... Um, I don't. I can't think of anything else at the moment. Um. But it was. It, it's a great show, and honestly, I would watch that bootleg again if YouTube didn't take it down already, because I know they do that. Uh, trust me, I know because I've seen more wicked bootlegs in my life than I can count. I've sat through many two and a half hour shows of Wicked in bed watching it on my TV bootlegs. Anyways, but yeah, that Tony performance, it just seemed rushed given that fact, the vocals and the choreo was still amazing. But I just like I said, I don't like that it was rushed. So... But the characters were picked, the cast was cast very meticulously, very on the spot. Not on the spot, that means like, like, very spot on, there we go. And I think it was just like, really good how they cast it. So... As a whole, it's a great show. The Tony performance, rushed. And when they, like, <clears throat> I don't know if they showed Tina Fey. I can't remember, even though I just watched it. Because she wrote the book. 
and she was in the audience. I can't remember what kind of look she had on her face. Through the entire Tony show, like award ceremony, she looked bored. So, I don't know. But, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction slash review slash whatever. Mean Girls has been a part of my life since it came out. I don't know what year. I don't remember. But, Mean Girls has a special place in my heart. And I quote it literally almost every single day. Almost. So... Like, one of my rules is I can't be friends with you if you don't get my Mean Girls quotes. Unless you're, like, older. Like, in the higher generation than me. Then I'll let it go. But if you're in the generation of, like, in my generation or below, like, one or two below... If you don't get those quotes or the references, then we can't be friends. I'm sorry. But thanks for watching. I'm Ben Rover, and hopefully you enjoyed this. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.